Before the video begins, I'd like to just say, all my content are just some small scenarios that I imagined, so please, don't roast me and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy! Surely I added that potion, right? Hmm, I added the right amount though. We had fairy's dust, poet's tear, rabbit's whiskers, and... Oh, who's at the door? Come in! I said, come in. Ah, <sighs> must I go there myself? Really? Who is it? Ow. Really does anything hurt my tail with that thick scale of mine, but... Oh my! Hello? Are you okay? Wake up! You can't be here. This is the Python's territory. Any intruder would be tortured to death. You know that, right? Wake up! If the King Python's guards find you here, it'll be a real hassle. Ah, surely you're harmless, right? Look at how sweet you look. Your arms aren't even as thick as my tail. You look so weak. How did you even make it past the borders? But then again, you're so small. And you look different. What are you? Oh dear, you're so hot, practically burning up. Why is your body temperature so high? Ah, could you be sick? Oh great, what do I do now? Do I bring you back to your territory? Oh well, let me put you in first. Huh? What exactly are you? Wait, I know why you look so suspicious. You not only don't have a tail, you also don't have long hair, and jewels, and scale, and... And your hair color isn't blue or green or white like mine. You're so... different. Unique. Oh my, how interesting. I really like you. If I could have you as part of my collection... <laughs> Hmm. Well then, I guess I have no choice but to take you in. My den would probably be the most safe place I can cool you down and hide you away. King Python's guards never dare come in my den. It's too cold. Only I am powerful enough to withstand that. Plus, if they do enter, they're always in the waiting room, never my bedroom. Yes, therefore my bedroom would be the safest place to hide you. Oh, what an interesting species to keep. If you come back healthy and alive, I must study your anatomy. If someone sees you, I'll just say... Oh, an exotic potion ingredient. Fantastic. I've even made an excuse. Come on, let's go. Oh, you're very light compared to some injured lamias I've taken home. I hope you don't murder me for taking you. Oh, wait. You can't. Hmm, let's see, that should do. All tucked in. Rest well. Huh? Oh my, dear, you're gonna have to let go of my tail. I know it's very huggable, but please, let me go. Oh my, you're just tightening your grip, aren't you? You must be as possessive as I am when you're awake, unconsciously taking hold of me. How cute. <sighs> Only because you're so sweet, I guess. I'll let you hold my tail a little longer. You're really lucky I didn't sweat you off. After all, holding onto a lamia's tail here is a marriage proposal ritual. It's basically a please have my kids confession. Oh dear, you're getting me all embarrassed over this silly gesture. I know you mean nothing and no harm, but oh my, wouldn't you make a bold lamia? Hmm. Well, you're unconscious, so I can't blame you. You're going to have lots to learn. Hmm, I wonder if I can make you a lamia. Oh dear, I can't be doing such sinful magic. Now, I need to find out what you are. Oh, there it is. Species Encyclopedia. Surely you'll be in here, right?
Really? Not here either. Oh, my last bet. The Mythological Species Collection. My own private book. Oh, why would I do this? You're definitely not in here. Well then, let me go get it. Oh, oh right. You're holding onto my tail. Goodness me, you're practically kidnapping me. If I can figure out what you are, then I can treat you. And perhaps study you too. As the best medic and healer of this territory, I must investigate. This curiosity is about to kill me. I guess I can just transport you without moving your position. You look so calm and peaceful when you sleep. How can I possibly disturb that? Let's see. If I call you here and here... Oh, there we go. <laughs> You're like a baby in its nest. But... You couldn't be of birth species. Oh. Wait. That's it. Human. That's it. That's right. You look just like a male Lamia, without the tail, the scales, and the hair color. You, you, you're human. Oh dear me. I'd love to have you in a museum, but you're definitely breathing and living. Let's see. Humans are listed as extinct, but also mythical due to their doubtful nature of their existence, the lack of fossil records and historical evidence. Oh my, I've truly picked up a treasure today. A treasure that no one in the whole territory would have. <laughs> I sure do like special things. Just look at my luck today. I've collected something so unique. I can't possibly let you go. Oh dear, you're definitely waking up now. Hi there. Oh, don't panic, please. Shh. I know I'm a big snake. I'm scary, but just don't scream. Please, stop or I'll have to cover your mouth. Oh, you leave me no choice. God will come, and it will be a big issue, so be quiet. Huh? Why are you turning red? <gasps> oh, right. I'm bad at controlling my tail. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to threaten your life. Please, forgive me. I sometimes find it really hard to control my tail strength, especially with my overpowered nature. I am a white python. Pleased to meet you. Would you like some water? Food? Tell me where you are. Tell me where you are from. What do you do? Why were you outside my house? Drop there like a present? You don't know. Well then, do you have a home? No? Brilliant. I don't care if you do. Well, if you do, it's no longer your home. This is now your temporary home. I would love to study you. Do you have intelligence? I mean, all you've done is panic and sit on my coils ever since you've woken up. <sighs> How are you still overheating? This is a nice cave. Huh? Me? Cold? What do you mean? I hate the cold, but as a medic I must have a cold location to store potions, so I live in this ice cave. I do have a sunroom up there. However, first, you are to cool down. I measured. Your body temperature is 37 degrees. How are you alive? Huh? Normal? You're saying that 37 degrees Celsius is normal? Outrageous. Are you sure? Well, you are really warm for my tail. It's quite nice, actually. Uh-uh-uh. No, you don't. Keep sitting on my tail, please. It's very warm. That's it. Your side has my personal heat pack. How nice to hold something warm in your sleep. Well, if you say it's normal, I'll definitely accept it. My oh my, you're human, right? I can't believe you're alive. Oh please, don't be creeped out. I love the warmth. Anything that's warm will definitely attract me there. If my tail makes you scared, do tell me. I'll relocate you on the couch. Despite how much I love your warmth, 
I can't force you to sit somewhere you're scared. Well then, I'm Winter. It's a pleasure to meet you, human. It's not a wise idea to look for the exit and escape right now. If any python god finds you, they'll be sure to torture you to death. After all, all non-python species that have come in our territory have died. And I wouldn't like for you to be the next one. After all, I've taken quite a liking to you. You're so warm. I don't know why the King Python has set such a rule, but we haven't had war since him, so I'm not one to complain. For now, stay with me. Guilty? Oh, <laughs> well, you're not going to be staying here for free, obviously. How about this? Be my personal heat pack that I can snuggle up to whenever I'm cold down here in the medical storage. Do some chores, and let me study your anatomy in detail. I want to know every bit of our differences. You fascinate me. Are there more humans out there? My dear, humans have been declared extinct thousands of years ago. How are you alive? However, you are definitely proof of their very existence. Well then, before we get some more explaining done, you stay here with me. I'll situate in a bedroom. Oh, wait. You're my personal heat pack. You can just stay in my bedroom. Huh? Beautiful. Oh, my tail? Why, thank you. No one has ever said that to me. <laughs> you like my tail that much? Well, you'll be in it for the long run, Mr. Heatpack. And I don't intend on letting you go. Thank you for staying with me till the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I can't wait to see you again.